All right, so kind of just uh, doing this for my own, hold myself accountable, maybe uh, with me. Um, I'm just starting to figure out Ida and Crack Me's, so I just figured I'd make a quick video document this one. I uh, I watched uh, this guy, JC, um, crack this one. Um, well, so I was able to do a patch on my own. That was pretty easy. But then the key gen, I was kind of confused until I saw JC pointed out there's a pretty simple way to do it. Um, I can post a link to that video here. But uh, yeah, no, I'm mostly just doing this. If anyone wants to uh, take a look, and I can look back at this later for myself. Anyway, so we're going to do Lafarge's Crack Me number two. Um, pretty simple, 2005. Uh, it's on crackmes.de. Um, so we'll open up Ida. And when we uh, run the Crack Me here, let's see, we get program, username, test, red code, one, two, three, four. Nope, that's not it. Um, basically, we need to figure out how to, I guess, one, uh, get this running, get a correct registration key, and then two, get a key gen. So all I'm going to do is open this up in IDA. All right. Um, so since I'm just learning Ida, I'm not super familiar with everything I can do. Um, but so I, I usually switch back to text view. Um, then I'll, uh, go search text. So when we ran it, we see this text. Nope, that's not it. Try again. So, easiest thing to do here is going to be search for nope. Let's see what it comes up with. And we find right here, it's kind of um, pushing this text string. It's, there's probably another reference somewhere else, or it's stored somewhere else. This is the reference to it. Um, so, then what I found is that. At least for these easier crack me's, uh, if we go to the graph view, it gives us a nice view of what's going on. And from looking at this one, all of this has to do with actually taking what you typed in and generating a key for it. Uh, it goes through all these loops, all these jumps, until eventually we get to a jump not zero and we either go to this bad boy nope that's not it try again or we get the good boy yep that's the right code go write a key gen so right off the top of the bat um easiest thing i can think to do is so this green arrow indicates that this was successful, the right arrow indicates that it was a failure. Um, so the easiest thing without, uh, so uh, I believe one thing we can assume is that this jump goes somewhere else if it's bad. Um, and this just seems to kind of, seem to be the next instruction if it's good we can check this go back to text view here's the jump not zero um and if it doesn't do the jump it goes straight into this uh, good boy you know we got the we got the right registration code so uh easiest new way i found to do this right now in ida um we can patch the program and we'll assemble and instead of jump not zero just make this a no op uh, which basically says do nothing um cool um 
All right, we don't need to rebuild any more. Oh, um, huh. so I think, honestly, I don't know what this red does. Um, this push SS, I don't feel like this was there before. I mean, this is, this is me learning on the fly. Um, I'm gonna say it doesn't matter. Uh, let's give it a try. Patch program, apply patches to input file, create backup. Okay. Um, so yeah, again, I'm not sure what that SS is. It's probably a leftover from, because the jump not zero was a bunch, um, look over in the hex view. Uh, I'm still not sure how to read assembly and hex very well. But I assume that the jump not zero had some extra instructions. So when we overrode it with the no op, um, it probably had room for some extra instructions. So um, just give it a try, see what we broke or didn't break. Uh, username test right to one, two, three, four. Oh, look. So we didn't break it too bad, but now we can name any name reg code literally anything and because it never does the jump we go straight to the success now uh, of course he wants us to uh, uh, I was in the uh, readme uh, first he wants us to make a key gen for this. So, <coughs> honestly, as a noob, um, this is, uh, if I go back to the graph view, um, yes, you know, nothing goes here. It's by changing that little bit of code, it changed everything. Um, reverse engineering all of this, but it's a mess. What I'm going to do, uh, and go back and delete the patched one. We'll go back to the original and load this back up. All right. So now let's go back to text view, search, text. Nope. Let's just get back to where we were um, and go back to the graph view. So, uh, yeah, what was it? So the thing we can see here, um, we're doing some comparison uh, and then if you or EAX with itself, hmm, I mean, I'm not sure what this is in assembly. I'm sure that if I looked at it more, this is should be something obvious, but I don't really care that much. Um, but I do know that the way that calls work, uh, you need to push um, things on the stack. So this function l string compare a, it's taking uh, it's taking two parameters and they're getting pushed on the stack as string one, string two. So I'm thinking that somehow we are comparing the string that we wrote um oops all right i just escaped to get back here i heard that was a shortcut um i assume we're comparing the string we wrote to the real key um i think that when i did the first time this is the string that 
string one is the one we wrote. I wanted this byte offset is the, um, the correct key. So assuming it jumps here, if we get it wrong, um, this bad boy, yeah, I think, test. All right, bad boy is here. Nope, that's not it, try again. So in order to create this window, it's pushing these strings to the stack, calling message box A. I think we should, well, okay. I know we should, because I did it a minute ago. Um, but we should be able to, instead of pushing this string, we should be able to push these strings. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and right click. I'm not sure if I can reference these by text the same way they're referenced. So I'm going to show the X value of these. Um, and I'm going to simply have this. Uh, we're going to instead show this in hex two. So this is the hex offset of that note message. What I'm gonna do is edit patch program, assemble, and instead of pushing the address of the note message, I'm gonna guess that this is the string that I want. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm gonna make it push this string instead. So four, two, 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 five, seven. Um, and that's the hex offset. And I assume just by clicking hex on both of these that it knows that I'm writing a hex offset here, not a decimal number. All right. Um, all right. So I did this right. It ought to push regular bad boy as the message um, as the text box header. And then it'll push the data in this offset as the text. It'll call that. So if we get it wrong, I'm hoping it'll tell us if I did it. If I did the right one, it'll tell us the correct key and not the key that we put in. Apply patches to input file, create backup. Okay. All right, this is the one we just patched. Username test, reg code, one, two, three, four. Check, oops, all right. So apparently this offset was um, the one that we provided. So instead, I want this one, 4220233. Symbol three program apply patches. Okay, all right, this again username test red code one, two, three, four. All right, and it's giving us this this number here. Obviously, this isn't what we wrote, so we're just going to store this over in Notepad real quick. And if we copy that and put it in, check it. Yep, that's the right code. Go write a key gen. So now the program itself works as the key gen. Uh, we didn't have to go into reversing any of this craziness. And I think that he made it to be complicated. Um, but again, this is only the second crack me I've ever looked at. So it's a little much to go all the way into, but luckily he gives us a string that we can reference and we can just send it out to the message box. Um, so put this up, I'll, JCJC did a lot better. Um, so this is actually the link to his video. 
um, which I'll post when I post this. Uh, he goes into reverse engineering the whole thing and then jumps straight to that uh, shortcut for the key gen. Anyway, um, hope this wasn't a terrible first cracking video. Um, and uh, I don't know, hopefully someone wants to learn along with me or give me some tips and tricks I can use. Uh, looking forward to learning more.